Hey, what's up people? Today I want to show you my only fixed blade EDC knife that I own. And it's this one. It's the Enzo Necker 70. I think the company that makes these knives, it's a Finnish company by the way, um, is now called Brisa. And um, the Necker 70, I think it's called the Necker 70 because it has 17 centim 7 centimeters in blade length which is about uh, 3.8 3.9 inches so it's a very tiny little knife also the handle is rather short um, it has like um, I think like 9 centimeters 9.5 centimeters in the handle length which is not even 4 inches so um, it's a rather small knife I have very small hands so I can get a full forefinger grip on there but I can see how people with larger hands they um, may not be able to get a four, um, full forefinger grip on there but um, yeah they're giving you a lanyard tube so um, you may can get a little bit more extension with a lanyard and I really like this knife it's um, I never really carry it um, as an EDC knife although I used to sometimes and um, it's mainly a workshop knife for me so I use it um, I wrote the workshop for different projects and uh, I use it a lot for cutting kydex and I twist cut a lot so um, the, the knife has to be rather tough which um, this knife is made out of 12C27 sandwich steel which is not the most you know it doesn't have the most most edge retention uh, in a knife steel that you can get but this heat treatment that Enzo put on here is probably the best what I've seen from 12C27 so far. Um, it takes a really killer edge and it holds it for a really long time. And I just finished restropping this knife actually because it was getting a little bit dull. And now it's back to almost being fully razor razor sharp. But yeah, it takes a, a very nice edge actually. And um, I don't know, maybe the um, it's not just the heat treatment, maybe also the geometry. The knife is very thin behind the edge. Um, my calipers are actually out of battery, so I cannot tell you how thin it is, but I will leave it uh, in the description box again. I think it has like a 3.2 millimeter blade thickness, tapers down rather quickly to a fine point, which I don't have here uh, anymore so I, I busted the tip off um, the very end of the tip at least uh, I don't know what I did but uh, yeah you can see my knife is really scratched up it has a satin finish on the on the blade but uh, all around the handle they have actually mirror polished this knife which is something I've never seen in any any knife actually that they that somebody does a mirror polish at the handle and then a satin finish on the blade very interesting actually yeah the handle scales are made of um, white ivory micarta so um, when they're getting wet they you still have a killer grip on there and so they're not slick even though they are completely smooth you have a brass pin in the front and then like I said the the lanyard hole which is actually actually also a brass tube in the back and I have some of my uh, one of my actually um, hangman knots on there which I, I showed you how to tie one of these uh, in one of my last videos and yeah it's a very very nice little knife if you have smaller hands this is a perfectly um, perfect knife for doing small tasks. I used it also in the kitchen a little bit but now it's being back um, to be a full workshop knife and like I said I mainly cut the kydex and sometimes even sandpaper and very rough stuff actually but uh, this knife keeps just holding up and it keeps holding its edge very nice um, for what I do with it. Yeah, um, It comes um, either with a kydex or a, a leather sheath I chose the leather sheath um, because I the kydex sheaths they make they are actually pancake style so they are two layers kydex which makes you know for a larger profile 
So I chose the the leather sheath and made a, a kydex sheath myself, which I will show you in just a minute. The leather is nice and thick, actually very thick for an EDC knife. Stitching is done quite quite nice and um, it actually comes with a, a belt loop which I cut off because um, I don't want a, a loop on this knife and yeah, I don't carry it on my belt anyway. So uh, retention is quite good. It's not you know perfect, but uh, it's rather good. Of course, you can um, wet fit this um, this leather sheath to the knife. And yeah, show you the Kydex sheath real quick. So usually I carry it uh, in the workshop like so with the Kydex sheath on my belt here and then no dust and dirt can get in the sheath or in the knife and I have it very uh, quickly accessible if I need something to cut. Um, I actually carry the, the Kydex sheath on one of these pull dot loops from Amartos Carry. And it's very nice because I don't have to take my belt off. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, a taco style kydex sheath. Very simple drainage hole on the bottom, thumb ramp up here, and good retention also. Yeah, the Enzo Necker 70, a very nice little, tiny little knife that has served me actually for years. And um, I don't know, I'm not a big fixed blade EDC guy, but um, this one I have carried, like I said, occasionally, and it actually does it very well. It's just a, a small little knife. I think they're also selling it in a Scandi grind. Um, this one is obviously flat. I think I, I laid the edge back at some point at like 15 degrees or something like that, so it's very thin and very slicely. Yeah, there you go. Thank you guys for watching and have yourself a nice day. Goodbye.